Ian Rand, the DUSA met with the PIC earlier this afternoon to discuss the alleged uh, massive fraud and negligence concerning accounting irregularities at Steinhoff. It has assured government's uh, pension fund members and pensioners that their funds are fully protected. At the same time, the Johannesburg Stock Exchange has announced that it will be investigating Steinhoff as well. It says it will be probing whether or not the retailer breached its listing requirements, which require a certain veracity around financial disclosures. Fedusa says public servants can be reassured about the security of their pension funds exposed to Steinhoff. The Federation would like to assure government employee pension fund members and pensioners that their funds are fully protected based on the fact that the Government Employee Pension Fund is a defined benefit fund. A defined benefit fund, just for my colleagues here, means that in the beginning the benefits are set out in law. In other words, how much you get and what it does. Okay? Market fluctuations do not affect the quantum of the pension benefits. Shares in Steinhoff went into free fall and fell by 80% last week. This is after the company said accounting irregularities had come to light, announced the resignation of its CEO and postponed the release of financial results. The share price started to recover today after 200 billion rands was wiped off the market value of the company. It can do 50% today, it can do 100% today, but... Um, you know, 90% of 20 rand is more significant than 40% of 6 rand. Sick. So in just simple maths, you can see the market hasn't yet um, you know, settled or, or forgiven Steinhoff yet. According to Fedusa, the meeting with PIC suggested an investigation into the fitness of the Steinhoff Board of Directors, the auditors of the furniture retailer to be investigated, and answers why Steinhoff CFO Ben Laganje has not resigned. There is clear evidence of gross negligence. Mm. Now, in terms of a, of a director's fiduciary duty, he or she should always be in a position to take an informed decision. And if you look how experienced, how knowledgeable and expert these people are, if they did not take informed decisions with regard to what is on the table, there is clear evidence that there was gross negligence. It's about time that these audit firms also need to be taken to book so that we can be able to have clean corporate governance. Steinhoff says it has hired U.S. investment bank Mullis & Company and management consultancy Alex Partners to assist with operational matters. It has also appointed a subcommittee of the board. Fedusa and its affiliates have also made calls for the investigations to be conducted by a South African regulatory and oversight body. Diabosito, SAPC News, Pretoria.